minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Paulson, for your candor today. Uh, hopefully, we can continue in that vein. Um, Secretary Paulson, I have noted uh, with great interest of your evolution from a proponent of no government interference in the free markets uh, to a person who believes that government does and should have a role in the markets. I find that enlightening, somewhat welcoming, and also contradictory, often at the same time. However, today I have questions on why uh, we have companies that are too big to fail. I don't believe that. Many don't believe that. Of those that you obvious, obviously think are or were too big to fail, uh, what distinguishes them from others? Why was Lehman Brothers allowed to fail and Merrill Lynch and Bank of America were not? What were the differences in systemic risk? Uh, to the country in making the decision to rescue uh, the latter and not the former, and why <laughs> rescue and assist Goldman Sachs and not Lehman Brothers? Well, let me, uh, you know, and I went through this uh, earlier, and I'll, I'll go through it again. At the time when uh, Lehman was failing, we didn't have the TARP, so we had no we had no authority to put uh, capital into the in, into Lehman Brothers, and we were unsuccessful in finding a buyer. And in the case of of Bear Stearns, we had a buyer in J.P. Morgan, and the government could assist that buyer, but, but J.P. Morgan was providing the capital and able to uh, guarantee the trading book. Uh, AIG. Can you in, tell, in, talk about yeah, AIG. In, 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 let me talk about AIG because AIG is mm -hmm. is another one which was different. In AIG, it was perceived as being a liquidity problem, but we had at at the uh, insurance company level, regulated insurance companies that were well capitalized, perceived as being stable, and so the Fed could solve the liquidity problem by loaning against th those insurance company assets, and the market accepted that. Lehman Brothers had a capital hole and a liquidity problem, and we had been working with a group of industry participants to help f finance a deal if we could get a buyer. And we were unsuccessful at getting that buyer. And so the, once we had the TARP in place, we had other tools in the toolkit. And I do, there's been a lot of confusion. For instance, people will say the Fed made a loan to Lehman Brothers after they failed against that collateral. That's true. The Fed made a loan, and that was to facilitate a liquidation in a bankruptcy. A Fed loan to Lehman Brothers uh, by itself would not have filled the capital hole, would not have taken care of the trading book guarantee, and would not have, not have prevented a bankruptcy. So after Bear Stearns went, uh, if you look at the record, you will look at the, the fact that, that Ben Bernanke and Hank Paulson each gave a number of speeches where we said, we don't have the authorities that are necessary to deal with non-banking institutions, financial institutions. So the, but, but your question gets asked by a lot of people because it, these are these these were, were complicated issues. But, well, but but let me look, look. Let me let me tell you what my constituents are feeling. You know, we gave AIG a hundred and eighty billion dollars on because they were irresponsible because they took risk because they created these exotic products. And, 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 and enrich themselves. They were irresponsible, and yet they get rewarded through our tax dollars. Now we own them. I mean, so when does it stop? And, 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 and then what is the punishment for their irresponsibility? Uh, uh, Congressman, I can't tell you how much it pains me to be on the other side of this conversation because I can't tell you how angry I was. When, when I sat there 
uh, on that weekend in September where the management team came in and laid out the issues. Uh, so this is, and you're absolutely right, the, uh, but there was a situation where we had essentially an unregulated uh, hedge fund on top of insurance companies. There was a huge gap in our regulatory system. This should never have been allowed to happen. It did happen. All I can say to you is you will never be able to explain that so your constituents can understand it. And that's a good thing because we don't want to have to understand this in this country. We don't want to be in a situation where this can happen again. But all I can tell, say to you is I believe if the Fed had not have taken that action, given the size of AIG, we would have had a global banking run. We would have had a financial system meltdown. The wealth that would have been lost in 401k programs, saving plans, uh, the wealth that would have been destroyed in this country w w would have been, it, 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 it was tragic. So the, but, but now you have a situation where the government is an owner, the government is there, and we have to be careful we don't draw the line between trying to punish them and shooting ourselves and the taxpayer in the foot. Because right now, we should all want AIG to do well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the time has expired. Yeah. You sure? I had five minutes. Uh, in fact, you had seven. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I oh, yield back. <laughs>